All right, and welcome back to our uh, next episode. So here we are, um, just exploring one of my students' codes. And uh, here we've got on A button pressed. Um, if we press the button A, it's going to uh, display if it's cold, warm, or hot, depending on the temperature. And so if we bring the temperature down to negative 1, and then press it, we'll see that it's cold. And then if we bring it up to, let's say, 5, we press it, and we see that it's hot. So one of the little errors that we have in this code here is if it's less than, if temperature is less than 5, display cold. If temperature is less than 25 and above 5, press do warm, else do hot. And so this is where we're getting stuck in this, um, uh, in in right here. What I was thinking that it would be better to have like less than five is cold, if temperature is less than twenty five, um, because what will happen is if it goes into this condition, it won't go into the else, and it will go directly to clear screen, and so we should be good on that. Um, side of things and then if we go over here to the light level so this one again is uh, when we press the B I'll just zoom in a little bit here uh, when we press the B if the light level is below 100 we get one single LED in the middle if it's less than 200 but greater than 100 then we have the nine middle ones and then else fully uh, lit up. So if we press B, it will start off in the middle there because it starts off at the default 128. And then if I go over to 100, can I get to 100 there? Oh, it's really hard to get that preci precision. Yeah, I don't know if I can do it. 101, 91. Yep. Anyway, I'll leave it as is. Uh, but again, we're going to have that sort of scenario that if it hits 100, um, it will light up uh, completely. So uh, again, I would have either put a greater than equal to symbol on this one or just less than 200 and it should be good to go. All right, um, that's exciting. So thanks very much for watching and uh, happy making, happy coding.